What's going on guys, my name's Nathan, or OVVG, and I'm here today to show you how to install the More World Types mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. Uh, there's a couple of things that I want to tell you before I actually start the tutorial. Uh, the first thing is software. You're going to need a piece of software called WinRAR. Now if you type this in on Google, um, just type in download WinRAR. It's uh, a free archiving software that allows you to extract files and also open the Minecraft jar which is vital for this tutorial. Uh, and the second note is that the installation method will be the same no matter what version of Minecraft you're using. You know, because obviously people are going to be watching this in the future with different versions. So um, if anything changes, drop a comment. Uh, if you've got any problems, and I'll get back to you straight away. Because uh, I've got a few other tutorials that I'm just going around helping people with at the moment. As I've got uh, a flurry of comments coming in. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is of course uh, fire up a web browser and head over to this link. I'll leave it in the description. Um, it, if you scroll down, uh, you'll clearly find client and server. Now I'm not going to be covering how to install the server version in this tutorial as I don't own or run a server. Uh, I'm just going to be doing the client one alone. So all you need to do is over the client one, just click download more world types for SSP. Um, it will redirect you to add flow as you can see here. Now some people get confused here, but all you need to do in the top right, wait for five seconds and this skip add button will appear. Click that and you'll be redirected to media file. Simply go ahead and click download. Give it a few seconds, and as you can see, depending on what web browser you're like using, um, in IE, I think it asks you to open, run, or save if it's an EXE, which of course this isn't. Um, but mine downloads in the bottom left. So, as you can see, the the icon there in the bottom left is also the WinRAR. So we'll just click it once, minimize the the web page. I won't get rid of that, and. Uh, it's a bit okay. So now we've got WinRAR open. This is what the software looks like. We've got a folder called More World Types, and inside it, we've got a bunch of dot class files and also a language file. Now, you'll need all of these, including the language. Um, you're not going to need to drag the More World Types into anything, okay? So you simply open it, and inside, these are the files that you'll need. All you'll need to do is press start, type in run, so that's R-U-N, hit enter, and this box should appear. Now, I've already got it in here, but you're going to need to type percentage sign, app data, which is A-P-P, data, uh, no spaces, and percentage sign again, click OK, and then this box will appear, or this folder directory. You'll need to locate your .minecraft folder, open it, and then load, go into bin, and then there'll be a bunch of .jar files here. You want the one that says Minecraft, not Minecraft 1.2.5, just Minecraft. Right click that, open with, and then click WinRAR Archiver, and this will appear. Now all you'll need to do is all the files that are inside the more world types, okay, so all the class files and the language one that I said, just simply highlight and drag and drop into your minecraft.jar, this box should appear, just click OK, don't change any settings at all, um, and then that'll be done, and then we can go ahead and close both of these, and then I'll, uh, I'll head over to Minecraft itself for the second part of the tutorial, where I'll show you what this mod actually includes. Okay, so now we're at the point of of playing the game. We've installed the mod. Um, hopefully you've had no issues logging in, or errors or black screens or that type of issues. If you have, all you'll need to do is force update and give yourself a new minecraft.jar. Uh, this will re like, remove any errors. You'll be able to log in and play your game as normal. Um, if you have received a black screen, um, like I say, just do what I just said. And then go back to the beginning of the video and follow the tutorial through again. If you've watched this video more than twice and you're still unable to install this mod, then please post a comment 
uh, and include as much of a description or of what you need assistance with as possible as if like I've received on other comments um, I'm stuck like I'm not sure what part you're stuck on therefore I'm unable to help you so just make sure that you cover as much detail as possible okay so for the mod itself all you need to do is of course click single player uh, create new world the game mode and more world options don't make a difference however for the purpose of this video I'm going to change mine to creative click more world options and here in, this is for 1.2.5 in the next official release of Minecraft this menu is going to be a little bit different um, so far there's only the super flat version in 1.2.5 um, and then of course we've got the mod itself skylands caves ocean and mushroom now there's more than this if I keep clicking uh, there'll be more types but I'm simply just going to click done and create new world <clears throat> And just wait for it to load here okay so while the world's rendering you'll see instantly that we're in a mushroom biome or mushroom world should i say because i haven't really got to play around with this mod but as far as i'm aware um the whole world is dedicated to the mushroom zone um with with the other biomes i'm aware that they're all the same as well so there's one called caves um, I'm not going to show it to you in this video because it's CPU intensive and while recording it will lag my machine a little bit. Um, but basically that is huge, huge caves with with everything that you expect to find in a normal game, you know, like um, bridges, dungeons and, and stuff. So, I mean, that's one of the best ones that I've looked through so far, but I just chose this one as it's, it's easiest and everyone's familiar with this biome, hopefully by now. Um, so you know that looks pretty much it's not a bad area down here um so that pretty much covers it um that's it i'm not really going to show much of the gameplay as i said because this was mainly for a tutorial but um if you need any help or you've had any issues then then please feel free to uh leave a comment and you know um i'll get back to you as soon as possible but that's it for now this has been ibvg thank you for watching